Hello beauties, welcome back to my channel. Two videos ago, I showed you my new Coach Tabby top handle bag that I purchased recently. Here it is. She's so gorgeous. <laughs> um, and I got some questions about it. I did ask you guys to let me know if you wanted me to do a review on the bag, uh, what's in my handbag. And I, I did get comments and people saying that they really like the bag, but they would like to know what I can fit in it. Um, people thought the bag was really small, it's cute, but it doesn't fit a lot, and asked for a further review. So, here I am. I'm here to give you a further review. Um, I'm going to open it, show you what I have in here, everything that I have in here. It looks small, but it does pack a lot. So, let's get into it. Let's see everything that I have, what's in my handbag. Just side note, these are my favorite types of videos. I got started on YouTube watching what's in my handbag videos. And for anyone thinking of purchasing a handbag, that is the best way to, I guess, see if it's something that you want because you can see if it's big enough for you, how it looks. It's just, those videos are perfect. So I am super excited about doing this video. Here we go. I don't know if you guys can see that with the camera angle, but it is, it's not even packed. So everything that I have that I will take out of here, just know that there's still room for other things. but. Let's see, the first thing obviously that I have is my cell phone. So if you guys have an iPhone Plus, you can definitely fit it in here, which is good, it's a pretty big cell phone. All right, my sunglasses. Okay, so these are my favorite sunglasses from Key. Just aviator, black sunglasses, but Oh, I will link them down below if you guys are interested. These are like my faves and they're so durable. Like I, I should keep these in the case, but when I have a when I have a smaller bag like this, I don't usually put a sunglasses case in there. But yeah, so we got cell phone, sunglasses. Let's see what else is in my bag. Hand sanitizer. Uh, this is from Trader Joe's. It is the grapefruit and lemon spray hand sanitizer. If you guys are not spraying with the uh, hand sanitizer, if you don't have a spray san hand sanitizer, please go get one. It's the easiest thing in the world, especially you mamas out there that have to just spray all the time. And this one from Trader Joe's is really good. So yes, so now we have a san hand sanitizer in there. What is next? Oh. My favorite lip color of the season, which is the one I'm wearing right now, it's the Laura Geller Greenwich Street Berry. It is a true berry. Um, I actually got it in one of my boxy charm boxes and I am in love with this color. So I will also link this down below if you guys are interested. But so we have a lipstick in here. All right, what is next? My key holder. This one I got from Louis Vuitton and it holds six keys. Um, I have a big key, <laughs> so it's not a small key holder, but it, and it does take up some space, but it has a slot for your cards behind it. So when I am using um, a smaller bag, you know, if you guys have been watching my channel for some time, you know I have a lot of tote bags when I'm carrying a smaller bag. I think this is so good because I can just put my ID, credit card back here. Um, I'll go over the pockets in the bag so you'll see there is a little pocket for cash in the the tabby but if you just have a card your id your keys just throw it in here any kind of card holder and you're ready to go so this is what i i have been using with the tabby and the reason why i'm using this as my wallet is because this is my wallet and it's a pretty long wallet so again when i'm carrying a smaller bag it's like i have to either just throw the cards in the bag or put the cash somewhere else I do know that I need a smaller wallet. I need to invest in a smaller wallet. That's a different topic for a different video. Until then, I am going to just throw things in my key holder. So let's see what else is in my bag. Let's get back to the, the what's in my bag video. All right. Oh, okay. And then I have a little thing of perfume in here from Toka. I don't know if any of you guys are fans of the Toka perfume. This one is in what fragrances it's Florence but I love these cute little bottles I have the bigger one on the bathroom counter but they're just so beautiful and the fragrances are amazing and they come in these little cute little travel bottles so I will um, make sure I link my favorite Toka Florence down in, in the in the description section for you guys if you're interested in this but yeah so I travel with this little bottle of Toka fragrance 
what else is in here. So see, it's still a lot of stuff and we still have room. Oh, okay. So last year, someone told me that the trick to making your, your gel manicures last is by using um, by using, I can't think of it, cuticle oil. <laughs> by using cuticle oil daily, and it has worked wonders. Um, I I don't know for whatever reason my gel manicures were not lasting long at all. So I'm using this NCLA So Rich Cuticle Oil. It comes with this little dropper. It's so good. My my hands feel so good. My cuticles feel good, and it it prolongs my manicure. So I am all about that. So I travel with this. It smells amazing. Um, even if I need a little oil on my hands, I'll use this. So I will definitely tag this for you guys or link this for you guys if you're looking for a, a cuticle oil. And yes, the bag does come with a strap. I just don't use a strap. I like to carry it like this. Just has this little cute top handle. Um, but yeah, so here's a strap and it is adjustable for anybody that wanted to know about that. Okay, so now the bag is empty. There are two compartments. There's one big one here. There's a second big one here. There is a smaller compartment in the front. Um, and then there's like this little, let's see. There's this little, little section for like cash, right? And see, here we go. <laughs> Found $20. But there's a little section for cash right there. And then at the back of the bag, we have another pocket here. So it's functional. I mean, we fit a lot of things that we need day in and day out in this bag. Um, and again, I told you guys in the last video, I, I think it's the cutest little bag. Um, so if you are interested in, it's off-white, like an off-white bag, um, This you cannot go wrong with this bag. So I hope that gave you guys some information on the bag, some perspective, you know, helped you to make your decision if you're thinking about purchasing it. Um, just a little quick what's in my bag video. If any time I do another reveal and you guys want any type of review on the bag, please don't hesitate to let me know in the comments. I love hearing from you guys. I'll go ahead and end the video there and I will see you guys in the next video. Mwah.